All right, Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV, as we continue um, Birdman and Slim's interview with Billboard. Of course, a lot of great content came out of this interview. It was uh, um, just an article. There was no video. Birdman likes interviews like that. Slim, Slim really doesn't do any interviews. So the fact that these two are together, I think it's a huge story. And his interview is getting overlooked, but of course I'm going to be the one to cover it because I think Birdman and Wayne Saga is the biggest, I think the cash money as a whole is the biggest finesse slash travesty in hip hop history um, since Tupac and Biggie both were killed. All right, I think it's that big of a deal. Birdman and Slim were both asked about pretty much Wayne breaking out as a solo star and how did that change cash money and how you guys operated. So Slim picked up the question and pretty much he was like, look, we just had to make that transition because Juvie left, Fresh wanted to leave, everybody just wanted to really do their own thing. And I just think they didn't go about the right way, but it happens like that. We was kind of upset about the whole situation. And then Birdman picked it up and was like, once they left, I was like, fuck them. I'm going to do me. Let them do them. It was fun in the beginning, but it ended up being pain at the end for them. Because they ain't last. Not one of them. Any nigga that left, they ain't last. At all. I didn't know it was that, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't keep up with the Manny Fresh and Juvie side of things. I was supposed to interview Juvenile about two years ago. It never happened. He had crossed and came in in my town, and it never happened. Honestly, I I really wanted to do that interview because I was going to ask him some of these questions. But um, I don't keep up with the Manny Fresh and Juvenile side of things because they're more low-key at this point, do a lot of big, older hip-hop shows. Uh, Manny does DJ sets, but they're not in the limelight like that. Um, actually, Wayne has just be, been so much of the the forefront. There hasn't been enough time to keep up with Juvie and, and, and Manny as well. But I was able to stumble across a Manny Fresh interview. It was a recent interview. And honestly, Manny was very open and candid about how that situation played out. Now, I didn't know we had got to the point where where Birdman was like, it's fuck them. They, none of their careers panned out. I didn't know we had got to that point. Very unfortunate. And I think that speaks a lot about Birdman. I never want to knock a man like Birdman because he's been so successful with cash money. Say what you want, but when Wayne drops an album, when Drake drops an album, when Nicki drops an album, cash money benefits from all of these projects, all of the number ones by Drake and Nicki, and all all that goes back to Birdman. All that success, all those hundreds of millions of records goes back to Birdman. So you can say what you want about the man, but in some form or fashion, he's an iconic businessman, to say the least. And the fact that Birdman has been able to ruin relationships with guys like Juvie and Manny and keep it going. He's like 49 years old right now. It's it's, it's pretty remarkable. But I think it speaks a lot about Birdman and Slim's character. If if it didn't end well for Manny and Juvie, and it's not ending well for Wayne, my question is, who has anything good to say about Cash Money? Because I look at artists like Jacquees, very talented brother and i'm like okay what's next when are we going to get him over the hump because on the internet if you check the youtube numbers jacquee's been popping for quite some time right now and i'm looking at these youtube numbers and i'm looking at jacquee's success online and even in shows and um, he has mainstream records period what's the problem Everybody's not going to be in your face like a Nicki Minaj and Drake. These were breakout stars or a Lil Wayne. These are once in a lifetime talents. I don't understand the work that they put in. I just don't get the label. And you talk about Manny and Juvie. You don't got nothing good to say about them. Your current artist, Wayne, you don't got nothing good to say about him because he doesn't have anything good to say about you. I just think this diminishes a lot of the cash money legacy. It's not good right now. It's not good. They'll have the numbers looking back. But the rapport is going to be terrible. When Wayne finally gets out of this situation, Drake and Nicki are soon to follow. Once they feel their, fulfill their album requirements with cash money, it's done. And 
Manny, Juvie, all these iconic legends have nothing good to say about you? Very unfortunate situation, but I would love to know your input. I talk to me in the comment box below. Again, thank you so much for the time and support. Subscribe to my channel. Talk to me. What do you think about Birdman saying it was fuck Manny and Juvie as soon as they left Cash Money and they didn't have success, successful careers without them, all right? Thank you for the time. Love support. Don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at his